Hello and welcome. You are watching a technical training video presented by the West and Central Africa Regional Solar Hub. Let's get started. So once you've arrived at step four in the design process, you may want to select a pump from a particular manufacturer, for example, Grunfus. This video will show you how to use the Grunfus website to select a pump based on a particular design flow and total dynamic head determined in step three of the design process. For this example, we'll look at a, for a pump with a flow of 55 cubic meters per hour and a total dynamic head of 191.9 meters. First, you can just search on Google for Grunfuss Product Center and then click the first link that you see called Grunfuss Product Center Sizing and Selection of Pumps. Next, scroll down and select Size by Application. Next, for the application area, select Municipal Water Supply. Then for the application, select Water Distribution. Sorry, Groundwater Intake. And then Borehole Installation Closed Tank. And you may want to make sure that the catalog settings are set to international and you can choose the specific frequency you require. Then click this blue button. Then you'll be brought to a page where you can enter your specific design characteristics. Our flow was 55 cubic meters per hour and our TDH was 191.9 meters. Then click this button, start sizing. And if the page doesn't refresh automatically, you might need to click Start Sizing again. And then we get uh, nine best matches for potential pumps that could be used for this uh, project. You can see across the top, we've got different characteristics of pumps, the product name, the motor brand, the uh, voltage, the power, uh, and so on. So you can see there's several of these parameters that we might use and consider when deciding on the best pump for our project. Just to look at an example, let's take this SP60-22 pump. We can click on the product number here to see more details on that pump. We can see under the sizing results tab, uh, the pump curve and where our operation point falls on the pump curve. You can also enter additional information such as the static head for the project, whatever that might be, and hit enter. And then you can see the uh, system curve in red here. You can also see your P1 and P2 information, 43.9 kilowatts for P1. Your pump and motor efficiencies, which are represented by these two curves, where the top curve is the pump efficiency and the bottom curve is the pump plus motor efficiency. And this blue curve is your pump curve. So where your head and flow intersect the blue curve, will be your operational point. There's also motor curves here where you can identify your current draw for the motor and other information. You can also click on this specifications tab to see more detailed information about the pump, such as the pump outlet size, the motor diameter, some electrical data, the power rating, and the required voltage, um, what it's rated for, and all the detailed specifications here. So we're gonna take some of this data and enter it into the design tool. So we know that our pump model was the SP60-22. The motor power, or P1, was 43.9. And I read that from this pump curve 
um, or this curve here that showed the P1 and P2 power. So it was a 43.9 kilowatts for the motor power. Then the motor frequency might be 50 hertz or 60 hertz. In those cases um, where you might be working it is 50 hertz. And then let's check the specifications page to see the voltage, the nominal voltage. Looks like it would be um, rated voltage is 380 here. So we'll enter 380. And then the motor current draw, I mentioned we could see that on the motor curve. So we'll come to the motor curve and look at this bottom number I for current, and it's 77.74 amps. So now you've gotten all your information to enter into the design tool for the Grunfuss SP60-22 pump but you're also familiar with how to search on Grunfuss Product Center for a particular type of pump. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching this quick technical training video about solar powered water system design presented by the West and Central Africa Regional Solar Hub. If you want to learn more or get assistance with the project you're working on, visit our website at wcarsolarhub.org. Thanks for watching.